So this week at the library, we are having a five-day workshop where girls from ages 12 to 17 come in every day from 2 to 4, and we, with them, go over HTML, CSS. And we use um, Code Academy to help the girls learn HTML and CSS, and by the end of the week, they're going to learn how to make their own website. We've already worked on HTML, and we're moving on to CSS now, and those who are moving on from CSS are now building their own website which we will then publish on Friday. From a year, very young age I've had a passion for programming computer science. I used to mess around with Lego, Mindstorm and robotics and I didn't really have too many friends that were girls that were interested in the same things I was. So last summer Chelsea and I we got together to learn HTML and CSS together and after last summer I decided to start a club at my school and so after the school year ended we decided we want to expand it to have it open to the public, not just in a school environment, and that's when we approached the library at East Brunswick. I mean, these two are the ones who actually created the idea, and seeing that there are how few girls um, who learn, how, who know technology and know how to code at the library, that's basically why I wanted to join Kayla and Chelsea in this program. Last year, I was a freshman in high school, and then I took electronics as a um, elective and this year I took robotics and I noticed how few girls there were and I thought it'd be great if Kayla and I could kind of encourage more girls to pursue careers in science and technology. I would be interested in joining clubs here at the library or at school and typically those clubs would be dominated by boys and even though I was a part of the club it would often seem intimidating to really get involved and be comfortable asking questions and so we wanted the Girls Can Code to be an environment where girls could get together and have fun learning programming together. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with Kayla. It's to get more girls um, exposed to this kind of career in technology. And also, I enjoy seeing how they progress like from HTML and now they're building their own website. And it's also great because we're learning as they're learning because we're teaching them and it's giving us more of a foundation and it's helping all of us really. I've had like an interest in coding and science ever since I was a child. And I'm part of Science Olympiad. and. Um, and I learned coding at school, and in my coding class where I learned um, Java, there was only two other girls in my class of 20 kids, so it kind of shows how few girls there are who want to code. And my favorite part is just seeing all, seeing all the girls come in and learn. They're working so hard. Literally, right before this interview, um, one of the people in our class was actually practicing in one of the library's computers um, coding. She went above and beyond. And just like seeing the fact that she went above and beyond shows that girls can code, they can do science, even though many people may think they can't. My favorite part has been definitely seeing all the work that they have put in into their websites and their ability to sort of go above and beyond what is being taught in the courses. It's hard a lot of the time to find a facility that can accommodate so many girls and also have the resources like the computers and the internet to sort of um, use those resources to teach other girls to code. Yeah, I think it really matters where we hold something like this because in the library we have so many resources and having a coding workshop only just adds to how exposed people can be with this kind of stuff. I've seen like the library has so many different resources. They have so many different clubs and other volunteering activities, but girls can code is something unique. Like this is the first time we've ever done it. And I'm really glad that we've done it here. So after this week, we're hoping to approach more libraries and expand to more libraries and have not just HTML, CSS, but look to other languages and other components in the field of computer programming. Yeah, we also hope to move to other communities as well and just expand together as a club.